So you play around with a lot of historical characters in your other lives. Why Shakespeare? It was, it was kind of in a couple of things. It was one that we really wanted to do a multi-character, because there's the six of us, a multi-character kind of caper. And there's a certain amount of setting up a story you have to do in that sort of film. And we didn't want to also have it to be setting up a character and who they were and what they did and what they achieved. And so really early on talking to the director, he sort of said, well, what about Shakespeare? And that seemed kind of an obvious answer to that problem. But also because he's got this tantalising hole in his life and, you know, historians know where he was as a young man working in Stratford and, you know, a young married guy. And obviously they know what he went on to achieve in London, but no one knows yeah. what happens between the two. So no you can, they'll let you put anything in that gap. Oh, yeah. And uh, we, we, we put that, we, yeah. which I think we can say didn't happen, but no, no, <laughs> one, no one knows. <laughs> sure. um, are you going to do more feature length films? Perhaps Kit Marlowe could have his own. Uh, Marlowe's been off. No, I like the sound of that. Um, uh, yeah, well, I, that, yes, we, we'd love to, is the answer to that. I mean, I think there's something very joyous about doing, uh, playing around in history. I mean, we, we discovered that early on, but um, doing, doing the feature length versions, of it, it, it is really good fun. Are there any references you didn't manage to get in in the final scene? They were coming thick and fast. Is there anything that you uh, missed? The only one, there was one that got cut from a really early scene when uh, Bill's talking to Anne on the, on the hillside. And she says, it was just it was a really geeky thing. It was just a detail I really remembered from school. And she said, um, when he says he's going to get a new job, and she goes, oh, you're going to go and work for your father because people always need gloves. And I just, I love the little reference to the fact that, that his dad was at one point a glove maker and just... Yeah, little little kind of rich little nuggets of history. Mm. I think that there's there's plenty in the film. There was there's, there's, there's too there's too much. I mean, in the end, there's too much. You can't couldn't cram enough in really. Yeah. His life is fascinating. What we know of it and his works are so good that you could drive yourself mad just yeah. trying to get, put in all of the lines and the moments you love from mm. his work. So you just kind of you have to uh, pepper them yeah. with it. I'd love to see your take on a full Shakespeare play. Would you ever do that? I'd love to do that. I'd absolutely love to do that. I've seen some brilliant um, adaptations. Yeah, the bar's pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's really high. But um, th the lovely thing is about Shakespeare is that you can, you can get a company of actors together and you could... I mean, I'd love to tackle one of the comedies with, mm -hmm. with you guys. Yeah, do, a, do a Merry Wives. You can't well, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. What would you like to do? Which play? That's a good question. Um, I think... I, I do like Much Ado. Do, yeah, I think it's much a great ado play. It's so, it's so much fun. It's so sort of and it's farcical. It's, sort of it's perfect. It's farcical. Yeah. It's it's you know misunderstandings. Hmm. It's you know highs and lows. Yeah, I'd solid love, to, love stories. I think that would be good. I'd like I'd like to do yeah. a, a Merry Wives as well because Falstaff was just such a. I was hoping fun. that one day you would give us uh, your Hamlet. <laughs> I think you might have to keep hoping on that okay. one for the for the love of Shakespeare. I will not do Hamlet. <laughs> Hamlet from a pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. in, <laughs> done, <laughs> done, at least. Um, yeah. Just, a, sorry. No, no. Just a quick question for my international readers: Is there any plans to release um, Bill abroad? Um, well, I think when you're sort of trying to get distribution and get all that underway, you, I think, it's quite hard to gauge. And we, there, we do have an international sales agent uh, yeah. who's working on it, but. It's sort of some it's some there's some, you know, it's really hard to know. some countries it's happening in and others which I imagine we'll just wait until yeah. the film's out and see where we go. I think um, yeah, it's always strange places. It's like you know, like uh, I think you know, Australia and then the United Arab, Arab Emirates and there's various countries that pop yeah. up and go, yes, we love it, and then there's others which we'll wait and see it's very wisely. It's a mystery, but hopefully, because you know, who knows? I mean, it, I'd love it if more countries could see it. It's um. A very British sense of humour, you know, mm. it sort of harks back to the whole Monty oh, Python yeah. thing. Mm. But, um, yeah, I could see it going wide. Um, what's your favourite Shakespeare joke? If you have one. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I mean, one, we do reference it, and I, I love all the bits, going back to Merry Wives. Um, it's also the, the production I've seen most recently, but I love all the stuff with him being forced to hide in the trunk and then sort of playing... The uh, you know the wives playing a trick on on Falstaff and all of that kind of um, getting tied up in 
uh, pretending to be having a ruse which then uh, kind of undoes itself and a problem on top of a problem and that's done really well mm. in Merry Wise. I like There's that. so many. Um, I saw the production, the Lenny Henry production of A Comedy of Errors and not only was he just fantastic in that but th when, when you get the sort of servants and masters confusion, I just love all that. That yeah. goes right the way back to the very sort of origins of misunderstanding, mm. uh, comic misunderstanding. <laughs> Is it too late in the day to ask you to do an impression of each other's characters? No, I'll do a Walsingham for you. <laughs> no, you see, the problem I is that that's no that. better than mine. <laughs> well, he was sort of Pierce, wasn't he? He was trying Bronson. to do Pierce, and then he was going a bit higher. Um, in which case, I should probably do a King Fuse. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. I like him. We'll do another cut. <laughs> <laughs> Dub each other. Okay, um, I think that's all the time I've got. So thank you very much thank for you. answering Pleasure. my thank silly you. questions. No, that's, that's absolutely fine. And congratulations. Thank, thank you.